In real estate, data is king. You want to be the very first person to find about a new property going on the market, or if a price for a given property changes, it's a great signal for you knowing when you can close a deal faster or when you can negotiate the price even more. But how do you actually do it? Well, most people have a super elaborate morning routine going through MLS platforms, trying to match in their head if they've seen this property before, if they haven't, if they remember the price correctly or if they don't, or they do all of this stuff manually in spreadsheets, which is super frustrating. And today it's a no-go for us because in this video, I'm going to show you how to build powerful automations for real estate. Specifically, we're going to track prices for individual properties and get notified if something changes. And we're going to build an automation that will tell us if a property gets listed or delisted on a given platform. The best part is that it doesn't work only with Zillow or only with Realtor.com or only with your MLS platform. You can build an automation for any platform and that's it. Super excited, let's dive in. I'm going to go to Zillow.com and type in my favorite zip code to find a property that I want to track. Okay, and on the right side, I have a list of properties. I like this one. That's a new property on Zillow. And here we have uh, obviously the price, but if you're familiar with Zillow, which you are, you can scroll down and see price changes. Here we have a list of price changes, but we want to get custom alerts when those changes are made and there is no way to do it in Zillow. So we're going to build it ourselves. This automation has two components. The first one is the trigger component when something on the web page changes. And then the second part is the actions. We can send ourselves a text message. We can send a Slack message if we want to, or we can add this new data into a spreadsheet. We're going to try to do all of this in one automation. The first one is the trigger action that will run our automation when a variable on the website changes. It can be anything over here. Obviously, we are interested in this price. So I'm going to open up Bardeen, the workflow automation tool that we're going to be using for this use case. I'm going to create a new automation. And here on the left hand side, you have many different actions over there, but we're looking for a trigger action. Triggers when something happens. Let's pick that. And here on the left side, I have Bardeen Scraper. And this action is called When Website Data Changes. This is exactly what we need. And we're going to be tracking this URL. This is the property URL. Let's copy it right from there to here. This is our first argument in this action. And the second argument is Scraper Template. A Scraper Template just tells Bardeen which fields we want to extract from a given website, or in our case, which fields do we want to track. I'm going to go ahead and create a new Scraper Template over here. I'm going to build it on this currently open page. When I clicked on it, Bardeen asked me, hey, we already have pre-built scraper templates. Do you want to use any of them? I do not want to use them because they will return 20 fields. So if any other of those 20 fields change, then this automation is going to run. Whereas all I want to do is I want to track one variable. So I'll build one myself from scratch. I'm going to pick this single page scraper and call this price tracker on Zillow. And let's start building. Now I'll click on this price variable, get text, get data. And here I can give this column a name. I'll call it a price. And just in case I want to save the URL of the currently open page, just so that we have it, I'm going to pick page link. There we have it as well. And let's save this scraper template. So right now we're tracking this web page using this price tracker scraper template so that when the price tag changes, this automation is going to run. Uh, this is it for our trigger action. Next up, what do we want to do when this automation runs? Well, we can send some notifications in Slack as a text message, etc. But personally, I want to get some additional information about this specific property. So I'm going to click on the plus icon and add a new action. And this time I'm going to scrape information in the background. There we have the action. And here's the important difference between the two actions. Once again, it's super important. This first action tracks just the price and it only returns the price. Now want to get information from the page, 20 fields, as many fields as you want. And for that, we'll need to have an additional action. So scrape data in the background is going to do exactly this. So let's paste the link that we want to extract information from. I'm going to paste our link over here. Then we're going to pick the scraper template one more time, but luckily we do not need to do it from scratch because Bardeen already comes with a pre-built scraper template. 
Zillow property scraper. Let's pick that. And that's it. That's our second action. Now we have all of the information. Next up, here's what I want to do. I want to have a track record of all of the price changes, similar to what we saw earlier on Zillow. I want to have something like this, but tracked in my spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new spreadsheet. Let's give it a name, property tracker. And I'm going to open up Bardeen from this tab and just dump all of the data coming from here to this spreadsheet. I don't even need to create the column names. I'll just dump everything that this action returns. So let's click on new action and find Google Sheets here on the left hand side. We're going to add rows to Google Sheet tab. Here we have our spreadsheet. Sounds like I misspelled it. I'm going to pick sheet number one. And then here, instead of creating columns and mapping all of the data, I'm just going to click on use commands and pick information that comes from action number one, which is this action, scrape data in the background instead of the trigger action. Again, this action returns one field. This action will return all of the fields. Let's do that and click on done. So far, we have three actions on our canvas. We're tracking price history in a spreadsheet, which is super nice. Now let's send a notification via Slack so that our team knows about the changes. I'm going to click on the plus icon, pick Slack, send Slack message. And for the message variable, I can say new price change. Let's do this. And then I can also add a comma over here and send all of the information coming from the scraper action. And I'll send all of those fields as our Slack message. Now for the recipient part, I can send it to a specific channel, for example, automations, or I can send it to a person or I can send it to both. For my use case, I'll just send it to general, click on done. And finally, because I'm on the go all the time, I'm going to add a text message action so that I have a notification the same way. Let's scroll down to find text message action. If you don't have text messages enabled, just click on this plus icon and you can find it over here or click on all and you'll be able to find all of the actions. For example, I can send it as a telegram message, as a WhatsApp message. I can even tweet about the property change, which is pretty cool. All right, let's click on send text message and fill out our variables, phone number and the text. Here's the cool thing. You can send the text that we created previously for our select message over here. So you don't have to retype this information. Let's click on done. Let's save this automation. Let's call it tracker and then 425 first street. So this is the address of our property. Click on save and enable this automation. Now here's what's going to happen. Every 10 minutes, Bardina is going to visit this page and see if the price has changed. And when it has, it's going to run all of these actions. And obviously today I cannot wait for the agent of this property to change the price just for my video. So I'm going to show you what's going to happen. We're going to trigger this automation manually. Let me just duplicate it over here, rename it. I can edit the automation in the builder. And here I'm just going to delete this trigger action just like this. And then we're going to run this entire automation manually. Let me click on done and let me click on the playbook card to show you what would have happened when that trigger ran. So Bordina is extracting information right now in the background, as you can see over here. And just like this, this automation was run. Here we have our spreadsheet. We can open it up over here and all of the fields are already there. Super neat, including the price, of course. From now on, every 10 minutes, Bardeen is going to check this page in the background. And if the price for that specific property has changed, then it's going to trigger this entire workflow that will send me a text notification, Slack message, and it's going to scrape the information, the most recent one from just right now, and send it to a Google Sheet. I know this seemed like a very advanced use case, but I have a dedicated longer video about how Bardeen Scraper works and how to track and monitor website changes online. Make sure to go down to the description of this video to check out the dedicated tutorials. Ready for the second use case? This one is one of my absolute favorites. I'm going to get notifications when new properties get listed on the market and when properties get delisted which is super, super useful signal for me to act upon. And by the way, there are entire real estate intelligence companies that focus on just this use case, telling you when new properties get listed or delisted on the market or tracking price changes, uh, one of which is Casafari, but it only works in Europe. That's uh, Portugal, Spain, France, and Italy. They're usually prohibitively expensive, so only big brokerages can afford them or they do not work on your market. And this is why we're going to go ahead and build it ourselves. 
For our second use case, I want to track all new constructions in San Francisco that are under 1 million. So I've created a filter over here. And as you can see, new constructions, we have 33 results. Now let's build our automation. It's going to send us a notification when one of those 33 properties gets delisted or when a new property with these search parameters gets listed. The first thing I want to do is I want to know what these 33 properties are that we're going to be tracking. For that, I'm going to create a new spreadsheet with all of the properties. I'm going to open up our Dean and I'm going to scrape all of those properties into a spreadsheet. Here in the search, I can look up different automations and Bardeen already recommends to save all Zillow listings from search to a Google Sheet. Let's try it out. I need to select the spreadsheet if I have a pre-built one. For my use case, I just want to create a new one from scratch and let's call it new constructions in San Francisco. How many properties do I want to get? I want to get all properties. There are 33, but I'll just enter 50 because it will scrape as many as possible. And let's just run this automation. We can save it for the future as well. Okay, here is our spreadsheet. Let's click on view. And here we have all of the properties, which is super, super nice on its own. Let's format the spreadsheet. I'm going to freeze the first row. And now for us, it's time to build our property tracker automation. Let's go ahead and do exactly this. Let's open up our Dean and create a new automation. And just like we did it earlier, I'm going to pick scraper and select the trigger action when website data changes over here. Let's go back to Zillow and copy the URL that has all of the property search results for new constructions. Let's open up our Dean and paste this link. Okay, just like this. And now one more time, I need to use a scraper template. I'm going to create a new scraper template one more time on this currently open page. I'm going to build one myself. And this time, because we're not tracking a single page, we're tracking a list, I'm going to pick list scraper, give this automation a name, Zillow property tracker from search. Okay, let's start building. And when you build list scrapers, you need to show what is a list because technically this is a list as well. So I'm going to click on two similar elements in two list items, this one and this one. And as you can see, Bardeen has recognized this list over here. And next up, it's asking us for the pagination type. So we have only 33 results, but what if you had hundreds of results or thousands? They won't load up on one page. They will be distributed across multiple pages. And there are multiple options for us to choose from. For example, we have click pagination. And as you probably already know, Zillow loads about 50 properties per search. And then you will need to go to the next page to see the rest. And there's also the infinite scroll option. Websites like Facebook, for example, load up more posts when you scroll down. I'm going to select no pagination. If I scroll down over here, as you can see, all of the pages were loaded up. So I don't really need pagination for my use case right now. And now for me, I need to figure out what do I want to track. And the only thing I want to track is I want to track the URL of a given property. So if a new property comes up, it's going to have a unique URL, or if a property gets delisted, it will have that same property. So how do I get a URL for a property? I can hover over different elements and it pretty much doesn't matter where I click because if I click on the price or on bedrooms, it's still going to take me to that page. So I'm going to find a place on this page where the whole box is going to get selected like this. And as you can see here, we'll get to access the link. I'm going to select that, click on get data and call it links to listings. Here we have all of them. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to save this template. And this template, again, is going to visit this page. We're going to see if there are any more links and therefore any more properties. And if there are changes, it's going to run the rest of the actions in this automation. Okay, now that we know that something has happened, I want to get all of the most recent information, just like we did the last time. So I'm going to pick new scraper action, scrape data in the background, paste that search URL over here. For the scraper template, I'm going to pick Zillow search results by Bardeen. It's going to get us all of the data we need. I'm going to click on done. And then here comes the most interesting part. I know something has changed. I have the most recent data. Now I want to compare the results from our spreadsheet with the new data so I can get only the difference. For that, I'm going to access the data from the Google spreadsheet. Let's add a new action, pick a spreadsheet, Find this action, get table from Google Sheet. It's called new constructions in San Francisco. Perfect. Let's select sheet number one. And now we have the data from the original spreadsheet and the most recent data. 
And now we'll need to find the difference between these two tables. In the future, we'll have dedicated action that will help us do it. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to combine the two tables and find duplicates in them. We're going to remove the duplicates and therefore we're going to have only new unique values. Let's go ahead and do exactly this. So the new action is going to combine the two tables. Here we have the action that will merge multiple tables together. We have one that comes from the scraper and let's add another one that comes from the Google Sheet. Let me click on done. And finally, I'm going to remove the duplicates. So we'll only have the unique values. And let's type delete duplicates in the table. Pick our combined table over here. And if I scroll down a little bit, here I have different values I can choose from. And we're going to delete all of the duplicates by the link of the property. This is the most reliable field. Click on done. And let's go ahead and test this automation really quick to make sure that it works. I'm going to click on done and call this new listings tracker. Let's click on save. Just like I did before, I'm going to duplicate this automation, call it test. Open this one up in the builder to delete our trigger action so that we can run it manually just like this, click on done. Okay. And now what we can do is we can pretend that these three new properties were added to a spreadsheet so that we didn't have them originally in our spreadsheet. Let's delete these rows, open up Bardeen and run this automation manually. So Bardeen is going to extract all of the 33 properties, but we only have 30 in our spreadsheet. So it's going to return the difference, which is the two rows that we've just deleted. Okay. And just like I promised here, we have three rows that we've just deleted. There they are. So the body of our automation is working correctly. Let's go back and build the rest of the automation. Let's open it in the builder over here. So here we have only the difference in the results that will be returning. Then I want to add that difference to our spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and pick spreadsheet, add rows to Google Sheets tab. Let's find new construction spreadsheet, sheet number one. And again, I don't want to link all of the data manually. So I'm going to use commands. And here I'm going to get the resulting table over here, just like this, let's click on done. And finally, let's send a notification to our Slack channel about the changes. Send Slack message. Let's say something like new construction alert. And then I'm just going to link to our spreadsheet. So let's pick action five. And here I can just pick the link to the spreadsheet and send it to our general channel. Let's click on done. Let's click on done again, enable this automation and off we go. Thanks for watching. This was a really advanced tutorial, so big kudos to you for sticking around. If you want to take your real estate game to the next level, there are some really cool pre-build automations that work just out of the box with one click that you can start leveraging. Anything from copying individual properties or hundreds of properties into your database or into a spreadsheet with just one click or writing, artificial intelligence generated messages at scale to reach out to folks, you can do that as well. To watch this video, make sure to click here next. I'll see you there.